वेलकम फ्रेंड्स सेशन नंबर थ्री क्लास ट्वेल्थ सब्जेक्ट बायोलॉजी चैप्टर नंबर थ्री वुमेन रिप्रोडक्शन सो बिफोर दिस वी हैव सीन सेशन वन मेल एंड फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम पार्ट्स एंड फंक्शन इन सेशन टू गैमेटोजिनसिस एंड हार्मोनल कंट्रोल एंड मेन्स्टुरल साइकल नाउ इन दिस सेशन थर्ड we will see the remaining so i am gr chopde pgt biology jnv sangli what is fertilization so gametes are already know so what is fertilization so here you can see this is the ova surrounded by a many sperms so here the fertilization process the sperms when they are deposited and the egg is released here so both will fuse together in the fallopian tube and they produce a zygote and that is here get implanted so this is what you referred fertilization during the copulation yeah coitus semen is released by the penis into the vagina the motile sperm swim rapidly pass through the cervix enter into the uterus and finally reach the ampullary isthmic junction so where the fertilization takes place ampullary isthmic junction the ovum released by the ovary is also transported to the ampullary isthmic junction so here the fertilization can only occur if the ovum and sperms are transported simultaneously to the junction that is ampullary isthmic junction that is a part of fallopian tube approach of sperm to ovum so first the sperm swim in the fluid at the rate of 1 to 4 mm per minute through a uterus and reach to the ovary duct by the use of energy so during that the phenomenon of sperm activation is become that is called capsitation that is the acrosomal cap become thin the ovum is released from a graafian pollicle on the 14th day of the cycle so it ova secretes fertilizing chemical whereas the sperm release anti fertilizing so this fertilizing and anti fertilizing are very very species specific so they should match and that sperm only fertilize that ovum species specific see here you can see so this is a acrosome cap okay see that acrosomal layers are there plasma membrane then outer acrosomal membrane see that so capsitation process now slowly that outermost layer will get dissolved and the acrosomal reacted sperm are be there okay see and here how it is step by step now this sperm is entered so only one sperm is entered here and this is how the changes will cause inside the ovum okay so this is how the fertilization okay So flagellated sperm released in the vagina sperms. by the male during intercourse find their way to the egg through the cervix and uterus. Their so transport the is aided by rhythmic moving. contractions of the cervix and uterine ovum. wall. And this is the membrane. Hours later, the nuclei of the egg this and sperm tube. fuse to form a diploid zygote and begin the tube. cell divisions that are this the first the stages of development. Real. Within three or four days, the small ball of dividing cells arrives at the uterus. where the monthly hormonal cycle has prepared the uterine wall to accept the new embryo at 5 weeks see, the, the embryo. embryo is a little over so a this is 5 week embryo you can see here okay different organs are differentiating and this is the umbilical cord and here is the placenta centimeter in length and floats in a clear amniotic sac the elongated brain is still see, separated is into part. its major parts here the forebrain cavity wedge shaped hind brain and developing eye are visible as are the paddle like hands you know at 6 weeks the tail this has begun to regress finger see here finger okay you an eye spot is appear the sensory part of the eye called the retina has started to induce development of the lens and cornea first the retina will develop this slot on the back of the embryo is the this is back side spinal cord which begins as a flat plate and will eventually close to form a tube 
In the center is the lens of the eye. To the right is an ear. And to See, the this is an uh, eye lens. To the left, the cerebral hemispheres are just beginning to form See, on the surface of the brain. Hemisphere. The embryo's heart pumps See, heart, blood through the umbilical cord and placenta to circulate oxygen, CO2, and See, nutrients. The umbilical cord emerges umbilical from the placenta cord. and joins the embryo at the abdomen at a place that will eventually become the navel. At eight weeks, the nostrils See, the have not yet opens. opened, but the embryo exchanges amniotic fluid with its lungs through the open mouth. The bones and See, blood vessels of the hands can be clearly seen. In the developing leg are the See, Achilles legs. tendon and calf muscle, the arm and elbow. At this stage, the external sex organs look the same in both sexes. Sex this could be either a clitoris or a penis. Okay. Flagellated sperm now releases. This is how the fertilization of the The penetration of the sperm. The sperm contact with the ovum at the animal pole. The activated spermatozoa after capsitation undergo a chromosomal reaction and release a various chemicals like hyaluronidase that act on the ground substances of follicle cells, corona penetrating enzyme that dissolves corona radiata. So these are the layers of ovum and zona lysine, yeah, acrosine that help to digest the zona pellucida. So these three enzymes are secreted by the acrosome. This include, induce the completion of meiotic division of the secondary oocyte. See, secondary oocyte only divide after contact of the sperm. Otherwise, it will go as it is. The second meiotic division is also unequal, result in the formation of second polar body and haploid ovum. Ovum is also called uttid. Haploid nucleus of the sperm and that of the ovum fuse together to form a diploid zygote. See, this is how fertilization, deposition of the sperm, approach of the sperm, penetration of the sperm, division of the ovum, and finally zygote formation. Similarly, pollen grain land on the stigma, pass through the style, enter through the micropyle, release the gametes in the same way. Okay. So this is how the zygote. Now see the journey of baby. Your due date is calculated from the first day of your last menstrual period. Conception occurs about two weeks from this day. And that's when your... So this is female reproductive system. Okay, uterus, ovary, a ligament, or a pallophene tube. Okay, vagina, and here is cervix. Truly considered to be pregnant. During a menstrual cycle, one of your two ovaries matures. See, this is the ovary, and here you can see how the egg will be released, that is ovulation, and these are the fimbri. An egg within a follicle. Hormonal surges controlled by your brain then cause one and occasionally two follicles to release an egg. If both ovaries release an egg, you may have non-identical twins, also known as fraternal twins. Long, finger-like projections sweep the egg into the fallopian tube. The egg travels down the fallopian tube, pushed by tiny hairs, and awaits the arrival of sperm. About a teaspoon's worth of semen enters the vagina, containing roughly 300... Now here, see, there are 300 million sperms are coming through this and reach to the egg. Million sperm. Less than 100,000 will pass into the cervix to begin their six-inch journey to the egg. A long, whip-like tail propels each sperm toward the waiting egg. See, Most of, sperm will lose their way. Out of that million, very few will reach you, and remaining will die here only. Way. Only about 200 <coughs> sperm successfully reach the egg. Fertilization occurs when one... Let's see, here the fertilization. So, ovum is surrounded by many sperm, but out of this, only one. So, that is monozygotic, okay? Yeah, monospermic, not monozygotic, monospermic. One sperm penetrates the egg, combining so their one. genetic material. The sperm and egg each contain 23 chromosomes holding all of the information that determines your child's sex and contributes to the child's so genetic makeup, zygote. including physical appearance, intelligence, and personality. It's a boy or a girl. You just don't know which yet.
See, now it will Within 24 hours of fertilization, the egg, now called a zygote, divides into two cells. See, now zygote, zygote divides into two cells, that is blastomeres. The number of cells doubles about every 12 hours as the zygote continues its trek to the uterus. During this early stage, if the cells split into two separate groups, instead of remaining attached, you'll be doubly blessed with identical twins. About three days after fertilization, the zygote has become a ball of 32 cells resembling a miniature raspberry. And this is a ball-like structure, blastula. A few days later, it reaches the uterus as a ball of roughly 500 cells surrounding a fluid-filled cavity. On day seven, the ball of cells burrows into the uterine wall. See, this is uterine wall, or inside that it is penetrating. That is called implantation. Now, mother and embryo contact will develop here. During a process called implantation, many women have implantation bleeding or spotting at this time, which occurs about 21 days after a period before a pregnancy test could even be positive. The cells on the outside of the ball create the yolk sac and the placenta, which nourishes your developing baby. By 38 weeks, the fertilized egg has grown into an infant with more than 2 trillion cells. Okay, so this is how it will, your journey begins. Now, karyogamy. So, nuclear membrane of both disintegrate, mixing up chromosomes called MP mixes. See here, pronuclei. So one is from mother and one is from father, okay? So fertilized ovum is now called zygote. Now you can see here, so these are two fusing. So that is called synon. And that carry half the chromosomes from father and half the chromosomes from mother. Easily, aap father jaise ya mother jaise ya dono jaise bhi dikhte ho. Importance of fertilization. We stimulate ovum to undergo second meiotic division. It restores the diploid number of chromosomes. Fertilization membrane prevents polyspermy. As I told, it is a monospermy. Only one sperm fertilizes. Increase metabolic activities of the zygote. It will divide. It helps in recombination of a new genes or induce variation and helps in evolution of father or mother ka combination. Ban ke naya hota hai. Centrioles initiate the cleavage of zygote because centrioles are absent in ovum. It helps in sex determination, whether it will become male, XX, XY, or female, XX. Copulation path sets the axis of a division, okay, and how it will divide. Now, sex of the baby, 10th mein pada hai, female XX, male XY. Female OY have X chromosomes. Male gamete sperm, the X chromosome, either X or Y. 50% of the sperm carry X, while 50% carry Y chromosomes. After fusion of the male and female gametes, the zygote would either carry either XX or XY. So, depend on whether the sperm carrying X or Y fertilizes the ovum. Zygote carrying XX develops into female baby and the XY would form a male. So, this channel you have studied even in your 10th standard also. Now, development of embryo. The meiotic division starts as the zygote move through the isthmus of the oviduct called cleavage. The first division called cleavage. Then first form two blastomeres. Then again undergo right angles to each other, four. Again right angle, eight. Again, 16. So number will go on doubling. These daughter cells are called blastomeres. The embryo with eight to 16 blastomeres stage is called Marula stage, Marula, see here. Okay, maternal, paternal. Now fusion will take place, zygote. It will divide two cell day within after fertilization, one and a half day, mouse ka example. Hai. Eight cell, that is a Marula. 16 cell stage, then it will come to blastula. That is 32, yeah, 64 cell stage. This is diagrammatic, and this is real one, mouse ka. See, this is 16 cell stage and this is Blastula. This diagram is very important. Compulsory draw karenge. Inner cell mass. Ye hai blastocell cavity or a trophy ectoderm. That is the uh, outermost layer. Blastula. The marula continues to divide and transform into blastocyst. 
the blastomere are arranged into outer layer called trophoblast or trophoectoderm and the inner group of cells attached to the trophoblast called inner cell mass okay inner cell mass trophoblast layer then gets attached to the endoderm uh, yeah endometrium endometrium and the inner cell mass get differentiated into embryo embryo and the remaining cells they are called stem cells trophoblast protection bhi deta hai aur nourishment bhi karta hai for the developing inner cell mass that is become embryo the blastocyst become embedded in the endometrium of the uterus and that process is called implantation so it will generally takes place 6 to 7th day after fertilization very very important see zygote cleavage two blastomeres marula stage and then this will become blastula ye diagram bhi nikal sakte hai blastocyst ya cyst trophoblast inner cell mass ya blastocoil bhi bol sakte hai <coughs> ye bhi same see then after blastula it will undergo gastrulation gastrulation that is ectoderm and endoderm mesoderm three layers are produced see ya okay see this is first the division second division genetic information like from both continuously to divide and redivide see the cells of the zygote now from one end it will go to produce a whole new organism here we see the development of a that new is gastrulation speed it up see gastrulation okay so the all the cells will get different shape see it will get differentiated into a embryo like structure the tadpole forms see now yeah see and they is being produced by many cell divisions see. starting from the original zygote cell this is one mammal embryo not human human embryos, embryos developed away in the same way here animate uh, animatedly shown to the human embryo okay so this is human embryo okay now pregnancy after implantation the finger like projections appear on the trophoblast called chorionic villi which are surrounded by the uterine tissue and maternal blood so the chorionic villi and uterine tissue jointly form a structural and functional unit between developing embryo that is fetus and maternal body called as placenta so what is placenta ye hai 10th mein just you are written a specialized disc like structure now here you can see a finger like projections okay entering here and this is from the over this is the uterine wall aur ye hai aapka gastrula ya blastula umbilical cord contain blood vessels see this is the placenta ye dekho placental villa ya villus finger like okay mix with the, this is the fetal blood vessel and here we get a mater uterus wall see that intravillous space functions of placenta no it supply oxygen and nutrients to the embryo remove carbon dioxide and excretory or waste material produced by the embryo transport substances to and from the embryo act as a endocrine tissue and produce several hormones jaise ki human chorionic gonadotrophin scg which is used for pregnancy test human placenta lactogen hpl estrogen progesterone later phase of pregnancy that is at end of month 9 month a hormone called relaxin is also secreted by the ovary as well as placenta gastrulation after implantation the inner cell mass that is embryo differentiate into outer layer called ectoderm and inner layer called endoderm a mesoderm soon appears between ectoderm and endoderm so therefore we called triploblastic animals 9th 11th standard these three layers give rise to all tissues or organs in adults it needs to be mentioned here that inner cell mass contains certain cells called stem cells which have the potentiality to give rise to all the tissues and organs so nowadays they are storing these stem cells for the future use see here 
okay zygote cleavage cleavage blastula this is the cross section of blastula then gastrulation and see that layers ectoderm endoderm and here we will get a <coughs> mesoderm germ layers fate of endoderm any endoderm aage jaake kya hoga it is predetermined to form mid gut pharynx colon pharynx se leke colon elementary ke unna middle ear taiyar hoga gastric and intestinal glands tongue urinary bladder respiratory tract liver pancreas thyroid and thymus so whatever are made bold one they are very important in the exam so thyroid gland is endodermal origin aise questions aate hain fate of mesoderm muscles connective tissue dermis of skin that is layer mesodermal bones mesodermal cartilage circulatory system entire mesodermal heart excretory system kidneys mesodermal reproductive system all endoderm form epidermis ectoderm form epidermis four and hind gut brain spinal cord eye internal ear see here middle ear here internal ear okay this is the fate of germ layer so there are extra embryonic membranes tropoblast after implantation chronic villi placenta formation the remaining further develops and produce extra embryonic membrane like chorion and allantois for placenta formation amnion for the protection from injury and desiccation that is amnion fluid will produce and yolk sac that is indicate we are evolutionary descenders so these four layers are extra embryonic membrane chorion allantois amnion yolk sac major features of embryonic development see the first sign listening to the heart sound second month fetus develop limbs and digits any fingers after 12 week it is divided into three semester 12 week first semester yani three months major organ systems are formed fifth month first moment of the fetus and appearance of hair on the head 24 weeks that is second trimester the body is covered with a fine hairs eye lids separate and eye lesses are formed okay the nine months fetus is fully developed and it is ready for delivery so these are the changes a b question aa sakta hai see first trimester see here fourth week eighth week okay idhar aap dekh sakte hain aisa then you can see here also start a week by one week one cleavage start week two three germ layer week three you can pause karke aap dekh sakte hain aur likh sakte hain okay see third okay that is for 40 week birth okay when the vigorous movement respond to touch head down ready so you can write same major changes in the first trimester see here second trimester 16 week 20 week 24 week like that okay the third trimester 36 week ready to born and this is the born baby okay now you can see how that birth of baby takes place parturition la 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 during pregnancy a woman's uterus nurtures and protects the developing fetus during gestation a full term pregnancy is approximately 40 weeks When the fetus has matured and birth is imminent, the baby begins to go through a series of movements that help it navigate through See the birth canal. During labor, Now the uterus contracts at regular See intervals, that cervical cap causing open. the opening of the uterus, the cervix, to cervix dilate. Open. These so contractions are open. commonly referred to as labor pains. With the fluid, amniotic fluid. With When the contractions center. cause the cervix to dilate to 10 centimeters. the opening is large enough place. to allow the baby to pass from the uterus into the vagina see with the umbilical the vagina part. is a muscular it tube is that can expand separated. to accommodate the baby's head and shoulders uterine contractions continue until the baby, the baby and the placenta, and the placenta are delivered. delivered okay now parturition process of delivery of the fetus that is child birth induced by neuroendocrine mechanism the signals for parturition originate 
from the fully developed fetus and the placenta which induce the mild uterine contraction called fetal ejection reflex important question i this trigger the release of oxytocin from the maternal pituitary gland and it act on the uterine muscle and causes a strong uterine contraction along with the relaxing the uterus undergo occasional contraction that is labor the amnion burst and the amniotic fluid is discharged the uterus contracts vigorously expelling the baby and the baby's lungs start functioning and the baby takes its first breath it start crying then only you see the new life is started okay so the umbilical cord is tied and cut and the baby is separated from the mother so this is how the child birth will takes place okay three month six month and this is what you can see so whatever you have studied from beginning of the fertilization day one to the entire process and the 40 weeks baby okay so here it is a fully developed baby vagina cervical cap okay fetus sabi ab de sakte amniotic sac a fluid a fluid filled bag which helps to predict or protect the fetus now zygote formation see we heard that twins so there are two types of twins identical twins developed from a single zygote that is monozygotic fraternal twins two ova are fertilized such are called dizygotic yeah cymise twins produced from one egg but which fail to separate here you can see this is monozygotic when the zygote is divided so blastomeres will separate and they act as a two zygote so these are identical but at beginning two eggs are produced separately fertilized by say, uh, different sperm so two zygotes so these are not identical but they are identical okay here you can see monozygotic a yeah, mono here you can see dizygotic so here monochorionic a yeah, monoamniotic and the same cavity here there may be a different dizygotic like that yeah here they are not even separated twin pregnancy head down and head down here okay i saw or here you can see the different stages of okay you see this this is cisme never separated yeah one is larger one is smaller like that yeah, here see the umbilical cord is twisted again very difficult here you can see well developed so here you can see okay see the difference so these all kinds okay lactation <clears throat> the mammary glands of the female undergo differentiation during the pregnancy and start producing the milk towards the end of pregnancy by the process called lactation the milk produced during the initial few days one or two of a lactation is called colostrum it contains several antibodies like iga essential to develop <coughs> resistance for the newborn babies that is called passive immunization a passive immunity okay so then there is one question also gestation period for a different animals okay yeah project bolke bhi kar sakte okay so this is about <coughs> so this is about the third chapter reproduction in human beings divided into three sessions okay so thank you for joining